teen or a child in college, this next report could be a real eye opener. One Weston couple is turning their unimaginable pain into something positive. They're working to break the stigma of mental illness and suicide. Their mission every single day to save one life. Comedian Robin Williams, celebrity chef Anthony Bourdain. And I'm Turkey Todd, I'm, I'm Todd Tongan. And our own Local 10 anchor Todd Tongan. All outwardly happy, entertaining, funny, inwardly struggling with mental illness that would lead to suicide. Their stories sadly similar to that of Dylan Shop from Weston, a young man with the nickname Sunshine. Because he always had a smile. He always did. He always had a smile on his face. And he was just this kid that um, really just strived for excellence and did wonderful. And he was just um, a kid everybody liked to be around. But four years ago, this outgoing college student who was interested in becoming a sportscaster, even shadowed me here at Local 10, died by suicide. Dylan had ups and downs like most 21-year-olds. No one saw this coming. I don't know what was behind the smile. Those last number of weeks, I don't know, because he didn't say. It, you know, but there was a tipping point, and I don't know what that tipping point was. <laughs> After his death, one of Dylan's many friends, a singer from Weston, wrote a song entitled Sunshine. Friends and family right. help make this yeah, music video. So she misses you, but I know she'll be okay. A tribute to Dylan, and a way to touch other young people struggling with depression. But Dave and Debbie Shop wanted to do more. Along with their daughter Dara, the shops launched the Dylan Shop Sunshine Foundation, turning their pain into something positive. We just want to help as much as we can to help make aware that having a mental health thing is not a stigma. Talk about it. Because keeping it to yourself doesn't help. With fundraising luncheons and parties in the park, the shops have raised about $175,000 as well as community awareness to prevent suicide. In an effort to reach more kids in our community, the shops teamed up with the Florida Initiative for Suicide Prevention, bringing more of the Hope Sunshine Clubs to area schools. Hope standing for helping overcome problems effectively. So we introduce a problem solving model with them. Joel Smith is the programming director for the Hope Sunshine Clubs. The clubs are in 50 South Florida schools now, giving students a safe environment to talk about their struggles and have their feelings heard. Our goal is to help young people, children, students, find a way to be resilient, to cope with the issues that they face. Yeah. For the shops, this community outreach is a way to keep Dylan's memory alive and to fill the world with a little more sunshine. So his name is still there. We're still talking about him. And I know he's watching over us. <laughs> And if you would like to learn a little bit more about the Dylan Shop Sunshine Foundation or the Hope Sunshine Clubs, you can easily do that. Go to our website, local10.com.